embrace your uniqueness and run at your own pace even if you're staying in a hole whilst helping those in need. Welcome to Wisdom of Africa, your weekly wisdom dosage. I am Karen and in this video, I'll break down the meaning of five Oshawambo proverbs from Namibia, known for its vast desert landscape and unique wildlife. Itosha Park is a popular destination for tourists from around the world who come to see the incredible and natural beauty of our ah, Namibia. Our first proverb from Namibia says, man, does not stay at homes that are waterless. Before we get into it, you need to remember that water is a precious resource in Namibia as the country is predominantly made of desert. It is one of the driest in Africa with large areas of the country receiving less than 100 milliliters of rainfall per year. So, this proverb reminds us that people will not remain in situations or places that do not provide for them with what they need to survive or what they need to thrive. Just like a person will not stay at a hole that has no water, people will not stay in places or situations where their basic needs are not being met. This proverb reflects the reality of life in Namibia, where people must constantly adapt and make changes to their choices in order to survive their very challenging environment. Man does not stay at a place where there is nothing on offer. Like that. And it brings me to our second proverb from Namibia. And it says, run at your own pace as you cannot imitate or compare yourself with anyone else's pace. Remember, each person has their own way of doing things, so you shouldn't compare yourself to others or feel pressured to conform to someone else's way of doing things. Be patient, be kind to yourself, do not compare yourself to others as everyone has their own journey and their own pace. This particular proverb, it emphasizes the importance of individualism. Be yourself and personal autonomy. This can apply to many aspects of life, such as work, hobbies, personal goals, relationships, you know, where people may have different methods and timelines for achieving success. That, my friends, is the meaning of our second proverb from Namibia. And it brings us to our third proverb from Namibia. And it says, everyone is important in his or her own unique way. So one should not destroy someone simply because he or she lacks wisdom or he or she is a fool. Simple as that. Treat everybody with respect and dignity, regardless of their background, their abilities, and their shortcomings. You know why? Because each and every one of us has something valuable to offer, even if it may not be immediately apparent. And no one deserves to be belittled or mistreated based on their perceived weakness or shortcomings. The proverb is simply suggesting that each person has value and should be treated with respect, kindness, um, greatness. I don't know what other word to use, but regardless of their weaknesses or shortcomings, please treat people as if you value them. And it brings us to our fourth proverb. And it says, 
help someone when they are in trouble. Do not only help them when they are eating. I'm loving these proverbs from Namibia because they're quite personal. It's all about community collaboration. Did you hear what I just said about proverb number four? It says, help someone when they are in trouble. Do not only help them when they're eating. What does this mean? It is important to be there for someone in need, not just when they are doing well or when it's convenient for you. It is easy to be friendly and generous when everything is going well. But do you know what? True friendship and support is shown when someone is going through a tough time. This proverb simply suggests that one should not be selfish or opportunistic in their relationship with others. Did you hear me? Stop being selfish. Instead, emphasize on the importance of being a reliable, compassionate friend who is there to lend a helping hand or offer assistance in times of need, not just when people, friends, colleagues, whatever, what, when they're doing well or when it's convenient for you. And it brings me to our final fifth problem from Namibia. And it says, if you do not listen to good advice, you will be embarrassed in public. Every society has cultural values and norms that gives advice to people in order to help them grow more humane and to follow the right way of life. This advice, it helps people to be successful in their lives, to be good examples to others in society. And normally, it is the elders like me who have the responsibility to impart wisdom, good norms, and good advice on the young. This particular Namibian proverb is a warning about the consequences of ignoring advice. It suggests that if you do not pay attention to the wise words of others, you may end up making mistakes that lead to public embarrassment. You heard me? Ignoring advice may result in consequences that could have been avoided in the first place had the advice been taken seriously. Come on, you're better off just taking the advice and then avoiding obviously having to fall into bad, you know, consequences or bad situations. Listen, just listen. Learning expands great souls. Hmm? So if you want to expand your soul, do some learning. Listen the proverbs and take in the teachings. So if you like this video, you are going to love this one.